Hi, this is uh, Surabi Madhwal from Mount Sinai Heart, and I have Dr. Jagat Narula, who you know um, is uh, fortunately from our institution and um, editor of Jack Imaging. And uh, we would like uh, to ask him uh, about the uh, future of imaging uh, in cardiology. Uh, thank you, Surabi. Uh, as far as the future of uh, imaging is concerned, I don't think you should be saying in cardiology. I think we should be saying what is the future of imaging as a whole. And I can tell you that one statement that I've always made, that if you are not an imager, you're not a physician. Okay? So the physician of future has got to be an imager. The imaging has to start on day one of medical school. As you know, we have done at Mount Sinai that uh, we are teaching what is normal anatomy and what is normal function based on the handheld ultrasounds, right? In our second year, or the ASM2 courses, when the courses would happen, people will start to learn what the abnormal is. When you start getting into the third year and fourth year, as well as when you become a resident, and as you very well know, that all our residents are carrying around the handheld ultrasounds, right. we basically are talking about the rapid response systems, that you should be able to know when a symptom is presented, use the ultrasound, examine the patient, Reuse the ultrasound and with one, two, three, four, five, six, like if you have got six or seven parameters, you should be able to make a diagnosis because I think seeing is believing. We shouldn't be dependent upon any more of our uh, uh, skills that we have acquired in past. I think we should, but uh, we should probably go a step further now that we have technology available to us. Similarly, when we are going in our first year uh, medical school, I think the CTs and MRs which we can introduce in the dissection halls, we should be able to look at if you want to have a tomograms at uh, vertebral level four, five, six, seven, I tell you I can do a lot better rather than uh, cutting open a cadaver, right? That's right? So basically, the most important thing that we need to do is have our phenotyping set better, be it for prevention, be it for management of disease or whatever else it is. And as you very well know, as you very well know that uh, we have um, uh, I mean, like these reports that the uh, the medical ed education is going to expand rapidly over the next few years, or uh, uh, in about uh, next 25 years. So the fact remains that genotyping on one side, phenotyping on the other side, and then being able to combine them, that is going to be the future of medicine. So sooner we get on to imaging, better is it. I am biased. I'm Jack Imaging editor, <laughs> so I will be talking about imaging. But I have a conviction when I say that, you are not an imager, you are not a physician. And how about feel, uh, how you feel about stethoscopes being replaced by echocardiograms? Uh, you know what does stethoscope mean? Stethos is chest, scope is to see. Now that you have ultrasounds and you can see into the chest, why the hell should I have a stethoscope? Sorry that I'm uh, a bit too aggressive about it, but that is only about my passion towards imaging rather than about audition.